What evidence does Nona Tobin have to support voiding the HOA sale? Declarations under penalty of perjury by Nona Tobin that corroborate Craig Lighty's. One, Nona accepted the auction.com $367,500 bid and escrow opened on May 8, 2014, but the lender never approved the sale. Two, Nation Star refused to identify the beneficiary that was withholding lender approval of the auction.com sale. Three, Nona did not receive any notice from Red Rock or from the HOA that the property was scheduled for sale on August 15, 2014. Four, Nona received no notice from Red Rock or the HOA that it had been sold. Five, the only notice of any kind that Nona received related to the property after the March 7, 2014 sale was canceled was an August 13, 2014 HOA notice of a $25 fine for a dead tree. Red Rock lied in its unverified, uncorroborated foreclosure file, but got away with it because Sun City Anthem misrepresented Red Rock's inaccurate and incomplete file to the court as the HOA's official records. The HOA's actual official verified records, board minutes, and the HOA resident transaction report corroborate Nona's statements under oath and refute Red Rock's falsified records. There are no affidavits or verified corroborated documentary evidence that refute Nona Tobin's and Craig Lighty's statements made under penalty of perjury.